I break it up, I, um, you know, turn it on the lights, but I like to see faces when I perform, I really do. Um, wow, I'm going to talk to y'all tonight like y'all family. So, be prepared to go there. I am native daughter of grid pattern poverty, Obama Rama novelties, and cloud piercing properties where hundreds of thousands hide red eyes behind desks and texts of tribunes and sun times. I am emphatic femininity, hushing phallic entities with a lover, a pen, a voice, and a microphone. I am tragic middle class mulatto rushing home. Iris blooming from cheap bottle, model chaser, rat racing academic with a problem or three. I am held together by hope mostly, but sometimes I'm just a loose palette of gray, like duct tape reinforcement. I'm boxed in by my own cadence, a lone marching soldier, aimless, unarmed, wielding only my wit and warmth. Actually, um, I didn't get any fresh copies made because I'm slacking on my pen pen. But as you might be able to hear, I'm fighting through a cold, so give me a break. Uh, but I do have my own self-published book called Cliff Notes. Um, if you are interested in getting a copy, you can see me after. But um, like I said, I'm going to talk to y'all like y'all family, so, you know, I'm going to be real. This is called Death of a Writer. I wish I could say these words have been hidden in every crevice of my being, but they haven't. If I could say that with some truth, I could at least find solace in the fact that they still reside inside, but I've been void. Like a scratch off lottery ticket in the heat of defeat, I scribble currency against the paper, expecting comfort and knowing that there was victory. It just wasn't meant for me. No, I've been battling the odds and I found that it's likely that the syllables have committed suicide simply despite me. Or perhaps the muses have exhausted their uses. And so until another Calliope dances into my life, giving me beauty on which to report, I'm comatose. But on life support, if you can call that living. My thoughts are begging to be written, but even when my brain waves oscillate, my ideas remain bedridden. I didn't realize I was dependent so heavily on love for artistic vision, because even when it hurts, the story's well worth hearing. But I have no stories to put to verses, because my nectars have dried like old blood on a bandage. I wish that I could manage to find, to pull something organic from what's left of these endangered lines, but they stay within the confines of my mind like prisoners during time for multiple homicides, but I digress. So relentless, they used to dance in my head to lyrics of God or sin or inanimate objects. Now they resorted to terrorist tactics to survive this pestilence. This peace itself is evidence. I've never been so far from my crap that I could laugh when asked, when's the last time you wrote? Mm -hmm. Till now. And the more I think about it, it evades me. Because if I were to blame the ladies, I'd be admitting to limping on the crutch that is love. And I've grown way too much to imply that life is not enough to inspire me. But the truth remains that love is what's kept the fire inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true that my spirituality still stirs controversy and my politics still rattle cages, but neither of those things seem to yield themselves to my pages. So afraid that it's not merely writer's block. It's the beginning of the end of 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 a new beginning every time I pick up a pen. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it? Y'all know that the American media is definitely not reliable, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> right, right. the American media is not reliable, not a reliable source of anything, especially not on world events. And I bring that up because uh, this is my fourth performance of this year so far. My other uh, two performances, my first two performances of this year were at events uh, in solidarity for the people of Gaza. And I will admit that I was completely misinformed about what had been going on over there. So if you don't know what's going on or what had been going on, I know it's sort of slow right now, but um, I can tell you that it's pretty disgusting. 
over a thousand lives lost in 25 days. And these are on the side of the Palestinian people, not the Israelis. Okay. Leaders, we're talking civilians and we're talking children. Okay, so I don't care what you think about, about I, mean, I don't know what you think about whether or not it should be state or whatever, but children don't need to die because politicians and shit can't get it together. And I basically bring that up because I was so misinformed and I had this piece called Read a Book. <laughs> so we all can stand, we all can stand to, to, to pick new sources to be informed. Set third row, set and third row will quake West Side Shop, where we spend Sabbath saturating minds with our latest chemical or life induced truth. I was experiencing the simple line turtles from the stage. Read a book, read a book, read a motherfucking book. Between squares and swishes, we ride home with a thousand words to the picture Big Brother gave us. Turn to FM, my neighbor, and she too agrees. The kids don't read. And the results are disastrous. Illusions everywhere are left hanging in the air because they can't find space between the ears so used to cliche metaphors bordering on plagiarism. Tipping scales that balance fantastical and factual. While titans collect dust like television screens, but they are not being seen or heard because the power in their words is rendered obsolete by empty seats in libraries and untouched, unsold sleeves, by, by media pimps and industry thieves and all their hubris, stealing thunder so a younger generation believes it's easy to do this. Their heads are being fed similar images of what art is, but seldom do we see an artist. Printed page has no place in the information age, and it has created a black hole of culture. We perish in the way with each clip and note. Speaking of um, social and political issues going on, uh, this next piece is about one of my favorite uh, artists who was also uh, very politically and socially active. It's called The Legend. I go over there. Okay. When life flees like vagabonds do to street sweeping swine, my mind acquiesces to the authority of rhythm. Subconscious quandaries follow the bouncing pluck of strings, and my chest succumbs to the resonating low tones that complement his weeping guitar. It's then I become one with the stars As I see a place I've never been And I believe in music once again And when the scratching of his voice hits my ears They swell to the point of bleeding While my eye wells overflow with tears See, he died before I was born In fact, in the same year Zion calls him home But his notes found a way home with me he was golden, but covered in dross, even cancer couldn't redeem. See, his looks betrayed his talent, brought forth bastard children of royalty. He prophesied through roster rhymes, wailed political lines, flourishing black pride at a time when it was relevant. But my beloved dreaded prophet spread more than empowerment. He spread love as he sowed seeds outside his jurisdiction. Smoke religious weed spread the legs of women lost in his rhythm. He would light his flip, take a lift and take a drift and write the tall wrist while Rita watched his love children. She, a stage wife, stayed talent support system still loved him and I still love him cause though the man died his progeny ride the airways keeping his name alive and every time I'm welcome to gem rock or see his son's customary dreadlocks he transcends mere fads and fickle fans and love only with his habit or t-shirts glowing in red yellow green and black the legend breathes beyond clothes racks in suburban storm and soundtracks no not in divinity he lives on in memory not merchandise because although the man may pass on the legend never dies and every time I put his track on passion fills my eyes with condensation, having a dichotomous admiration for a man that loved his wife but slept with other girls, a man that smoked away his life still managed to change the world with one love, one heart, get together, feel alright. I wait for closure at the close of his album's fading volume. Silence fills the room, lifting the tar I pitch the tune, and hum and strum along, searching for my own redemption song. Thank you, Robert Nesta Marley, for inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> 